Hello everyone, welcome to our Git development series. Today we are going to discuss about how to run an Ethereum node using Git. In our last video we have discussed about all Git flags. So let's get started. We are going to work in our same uh, directory. As I have explained in last video, in order to check the flags available for git cli command, just type command git help. Here you can see all the flags using which we can uh, set up and node. So let's get started. In our last video, we have created an Ethereum account. Here you can see that key store file of that account. This is an address of our Ethereum account. Okay. So by using this account, we are going to set today. We are going to set up an Ethereum node. For setting an uh, uh, particular node using uh, any key store, uh, we want an uh, Genesis file. All all configuration given in that file only like uh, network id here we can see a chain id and all other configurations the engine which we are going to the consensus on which we are going to run our network so for now we are going to run our node using proof of authority consensus here you can see simple genesis file with simple configurations here you can see difficulty gas limit and extra data this is our uh, Ethereum account address. In our official documentation, we, uh, we can uh, search for Genesis. Here you can see Genesis files. I think they have updated their uh, official documentation so let me check once ah, here you can see uh, genesis uh, file which we are going to use it is uh, basically click click is engine of proof of authority here you can see uh, Key store addresses and balance allocation. This is it hash. Currently, it hash. Uh, it hash means proof of work consensus. Currently, uh, uh, proof of work consensus is deprecated as uh, Ethereum uh, shifted to proof of stake. So, let's create an uh, Ethereum node using uh, get uh, commands. So let's get started. So by using those uh, flags which we are discussed discussed in our last video so we we have to create an uh, uh, directory for that or we can directly use this directory so just type get we have to use a data directory flag to specify directory on which in which we are going to store our uh, node data just copy the path of this folder paste it then we we are going to specify the uh, uh, chain id on which whatever it may be you can set whatever you want but uh, be aware that no one is going to uh, not using our uh, this chain id so keep it unique So we are going for now we are going to keep it one two three four network ID flag mm. 
one two three four then we are going to add http flags also http i have explained those flags in our last video so http flag is used to uh, retrieve and send uh, data on rpc on particular uh, port http api flag is used to uh, specify which uh, api on which api our node is uh, supporting so those are web3 eth net tx pool admin and minor these all are javascript console apis using which we can uh, uh, interact with our node in http address http address means uh, port on which we are going to run our node uh, sorry uh, ip uh, here you can see you can directly as you are running it on local so you can directly uh, name it as localhost this is http port flag using which we can specify the port on which we are going to uh, using which we are going to retrieve uh, node data so you can keep it in any port okay this is basic configuration we can customize uh, it as our need So just enter okay some things HTTP address okay I have written it as a wrong flag here you can see flag is only http addr means http address now enter here you can see let's see here we forgot to uh, init our genesis file just because of that it is showing chain id main net so we have to do that first so let's terminate this process clear this folder so as uh, we have uh, defined all the our configuration in uh, this uh, file so we have to init this genesis so uh, command for uh, initializing the genesis file is get dash dash data directory genesis file path here you can see genesis root successfully wrote genesis state means we have successfully initialized our genesis file now we are going to enter that our customized command which we are uh, created just enter now here you can see uh, our chain id is one two three four as we have defined in our genesis file and uh, our consensus is proof of authority consensus our uh, node is running on proof of authority consensus in order to attach javascript console uh, to this uh, particular node uh, we have to 
open new terminal using this uh, get ipc file you can uh, uh, connect our javascript console so command to uh, connect javascript console is get attach ipc colon slash Here you can see we have successfully connected to our uh, running node, get node. In our node we, we can check all our configuration as I have explained already. Here you can see all the other configuration. Let's go to JavaScript console. Here you can see all the APIs we have provided uh, in our command. So let's check one by one. Here you can see uh, uh, it there are lot lot of commands here for it Ethereum commands. Here you can see it dot accounts, it dot block number, it dot chain ID. So in order to check accounts available in our node with account commands here you can see our address which we have, we have provided in our genesis file which is available in our uh, key store file here you can see it block number so currently zero block are uh, mine it is a simple node so mining process is not working just because of that it is showing zero zero blocks then we can check uh, minor command dot here you can see minor gas price minor start minor stop this those command is used to uh, start the process of mining start and stop the process of mining means creating the blocks ok uh, then uh, net rpc tx pool similarly those api are used to in, uh, interact with our uh, running kth node this node so if you want to check the configuration of our node data power node so there is an uh, api admin dot node info here you can see all the data of our uh, running node here you can see inode id which is specific for each node running in our, uh, our network currently we are going to run uh, single node so if one only one uh, inode is available like inode enr works same both are same just uh, their uh, length is different this is a, in a node id which is uh, also unique for each node the ip on which our uh, uh, node is running localhost we can di uh, directly add localhost over there or uh, we can type this ip also here you can see uh, chain id click consensus 
and this is genesis hash this is header hash okay so in order to check specific only in order to do command admin dot node info dot in order similar for enr if you want to fetch specific data so we can use the those commands here is one command admin add pair admin remove pair using those command we can add a external node with our uh, current running node so it will be in a peer connection so we can call it as a multi node network also so currently we are uh, running only one uh, node this all if using th those all api we are going to fetch uh, we can fetch uh, data from particular node or blockchain so this is all for today in our next video we are going to explain uh, how to set up an our private network using uh, geth and multi node setup where we are going to create a, a demo blockchain and we are going to uh, transfer uh, uh, funds using those uh, on this blockchain we are going to allocate the funds for particular ethereum account so in our next video we are going to run uh, two three different nodes and we are going to uh, make them interact to each other so that's all for today uh, follow for our next video next video is very important so don't miss uh, that video uh, and uh, subscribe our channel do like if you uh, want videos such like that so that's all for today thank you guys